what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing a deck profile here for crocodile this is going to be the first time i am actually doing a one piece video i don't believe i've ever opened any one piece products on this channel or even my other channel as well and because of that it's sort of weird that i'm actually going with a deck profile first now the way i actually built this deck was not by opening up boxes but rather just by buying singles honestly this particular card game is a little bit different on how it operates compared to a lot of other card games out there just because you can't really buy boxes without having to pretty much give up an arm or a leg mainly because the prices of sealed product is insanely expensive if you did not pre-order any products you will pretty much be missing out on them because these products are always going to be uh, sold out on pre-orders and you literally just have to be there immediately as soon as the pre-release is announced so that's how the game works unfortunately and it is just all scalpers out there unless you are to buy singles and so that's how i essentially bought this deck i went on one of my actual local card stores and they happened to sell singles and i was just there to uh, get the cards i particularly needed for this particular deck now one thing i will say is i am definitely still missing a lot of the newer cards out there that could definitely further improve this particular deck i'm also very open to taking in suggestions as well i'm simply choosing to play crocodile because it's one of my favorite characters in one piece so i just wanted to build it whether or not i have all the optimal cards is a matter of um, subjective input otherwise experimentation and this is going to be very exciting but with that being said if you guys find this video interesting drop a like share comment subscribe even watch one more video it really means a lot but with that being said let's begin so starting off we're going to be playing crocodile this is from kingdoms of intrigue which is set four so that means we're going to be playing a purple yellow deck now i do find this deck to be really interesting i did want to build other variants of crocodile as well particularly the one from the starter deck which was a blue colored deck however that starter deck is going for about a hundred dollars maybe even more just by itself so definitely unobtainable so i figured i'd build this instead this particular deck i'd been working on ever since uh, the set actually came out uh, but with that being said i haven't really kept up with the later sets so i am very much so behind and i am very keen to uh, hear your thoughts on what you think would be better optimized for this particular deck but that being said, I do like the playstyle of this particular deck, so thank goodness. If we were to sort of theme a character based on each of these traits of the card game itself or mechanics, it is definitely very fitting of a character like Crocodile. So starting off, I'm going to be playing here four copies of Crocodile himself. Definitely very nice. It is a huge 9000 beta, so definitely gets the job done on a lot of things. However, I do like its effect when it is first brought out. Uh, it's just negative 2 Don. If your leader's type includes Baroque works, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. It's just something that I find to be quite nifty in a way where we could sort of at least have a bit of control and that's something I sort of like when playing this game or most TCGs in general. Next up we're going to be playing Yamato. This is a Land of Wano archetype card so definitely very different from our usual Baroque work strategy but with that being said another 9k beta it even costs a bit more but Either way, that's not too big of a fuss, it's mainly the effect that we're going to get out of it. Its effect on play simply allows you to KO up to one of your opponent's characters that have a cost that is equal to or less than their actual life cards. So yeah, definitely very interesting. When you play it with Crocodile, 
you could essentially increase your life so you're just adding more towards Yamato's capabilities here. Moving on we have Miss All Sunday. This is definitely a fantastic card for the deck given that you are going to be getting rid of Don. So to be able to recover Don just by playing this particular card down is definitely fantastic and to even get that draw is definitely very nice as well. It's very fitting for Miss All Sunday to be supporting Crocodile himself. Moving on, I'm going to be playing here four copies of Mr. Two or Bon Cure. This is again from set four. It is definitely obviously going to be synergetic with the deck itself given that it is a proper Baroque's card from the same set. So on your opponent's attack, negative 1 Don, this character's base power becomes the same as the power of your opponent's attacking leader or character during this turn. It's definitely very fitting of uh, Bon Clay's actual devil fruit powers in the anime itself, but at the same time it also just makes sense for it to be able to sort of give a bit of control by mitigating any potential damage you might receive from your opponent. Next up I wanted to talk about two cards at the same time and that is Mr. 3 Gaudino and Miss Golden Week Marianne. These two particular cards obviously again same set and both are definitely very nice in what they actually do. You'll find that a lot of the numbers or like you know Mr. 2, Mr. 3 etc. They all will focus on a lot of uh, negative Don. Whereas with your um, accompanying holiday character, in this case Miss Golden Week or Miss All Sunday etc, they would be the supporters here that sort of uh, get the mini engine going. And when I say mini engine, I mean obviously the Baroque Works partners that they all pair up together. So in this case, Mr. 3 has negative 1 Don. You could give up to one of your opponent's characters negative 1000 during this turn. Uh, in conjunction with Mr. 2, it's also pretty nice as well. And with Miss Golden Week on play, if your leader's type includes Baroque Works, up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 5 or less cannot attack until the start of your next turn. This is definitely very nice again to just mitigate any potential damage from your opponent. In this particular deck here, I've chosen not to play uh, Mr. 1, which comes in the following set after this. And that's mainly because there are several variations of this deck. So yeah, I will be putting up an updated deck profile for this in the future or a different variation of this deck in the future. But you could sort of switch back and forth. In this particular case, if you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive and maintain less control, then you could always opt to remove uh, two copies of Miss Golden Week and two copies of Gaudino to fit in the four copies of Mr. One. Next up, I have Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas. So, Mr. Four's effect reads negative one Don. This character gains blocker and plus 1000 during this battle. Again, just getting more control by mitigating any potential damage on you. All the while still having that capability to be able to increase your own life via Crocodile himself. And Miss Merry Christmas is pretty simple. She is simply just a blocker. So again, adding more to that. Now with further or a different variation, where we include Miss Doublefinger, what I would actually be doing is I'd be removing two copies of Miss Merry Christmas or two copies of Mr. Four and I'd be incorporating Miss Doublefinger into this deck. But again, that's focusing on a more aggressive style of uh, this particular variant, which is something that has a bit more control. And so as a result, I didn't want to switch it up too much I wanted to keep a nice consistency with this particular deck, so I will show a more aggressive deck in the near future. Next up we have Mr. 5 and Miss Valentine. These two cards are definitely going to be a little bit more interesting than the previous ones, uh, just because with Mr. 5 on your opponent's attack, uh, negative 2 Don. You may rest this character, K up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 4 or less. 
of course that's going to be very low cost but that being said again you're always keeping up that control and with miss valentine on play look at five cards from the top of your deck reveal up to one card of a baroque's works type and add it to your hand then place the rest on your deck from any order on the bottom together these two cards definitely add to so much more control so what we've been seeing is that everyone has received quite simple effects and that's okay but it just gives you so much more control and this is something i really like with this deck is the amount of consistency it is throughout all of its abilities so here's the last of the baroque's works cards and that is going to be mr 13 and miss friday a definitely very interesting card that it's been combined into one however as a main effect you may trust this character and one of your characters with baroque works in its traits and add up to one Don card from your don deck and set it as active it is quite costly which is why i only play two copies of this sometimes you just need those extra don cards and hey throughout this whole game you've been trying to mitigate that damage when you do need to be a bit more aggressive this is where these cards actually do come in handy now for the last of our character cards we have two copies here of sanji this is just the only other yellow card that we have out there alongside yamato but it's definitely a very nice card again it's another blocker but it also has counter which is something that is quite a nice bonus. This particular card, it's nothing special, it's quite straightforward, but it is definitely something that contributes quite a lot to this deck. Next up, we have here the event cards, and that is Colors Trap and Weakness is an Unforgivable Sin. Both are obviously counters, but they're also very low cost, which is what makes them so good with colors trap up to one of your leader or character cards gain a thousand power during this battle then rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less in conjunction with bond clay this particular card is definitely very powerful but it also could potentially stop up to two character cards that's attacking you as for weakness is an unforgivable sin negative don one up to one of your leader characters gains a thousand power during this turn this could really save you in a clutch moment the last of our purple event cards we have is nez palm cannon again a counter up to one of your leader or characters gains plus six thousand power during this battle then if you have two or less life cards add up to one don card from your don deck and rest it very nice very clutch this is essentially what saves you from actually losing the game but that being said it also will recover a don card for you as well which is definitely fantastic but three is not necessarily a costly card i'm gonna wrap things up here with the two cards ikoku sovereignty and diablo jambe Jure shot these two particular cards are again the only yellow event cards that we actually have but they are definitely very helpful so ikoku sovereignty is a little bit cheaper but it still allows you to counter by giving one of the leaders or characters plus 5000 during this battle definitely very nice and of course with uh, diablo jambe we have a counter of up to one of your leader or characters gain 6000 power during this battle then if you or your opponent have a total of four or less life cards k up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less this adds a bit more variation to the deck and gives you a little bit more options even though it's the same cost and does very similar things to nez palm cannon and of course these are the don cards i'm playing here just a simple 10 as every deck would i hope to actually get some more variety soon so that was essentially my crocodile deck profile i do hope you guys all enjoyed this one this is definitely one of the many variations you could actually go with for this particular deck obviously there is a bit more of an aggressive variant in the future this deck still has quite a lot of control when i say aggression crocodile himself being able to take away don cards is a more aggressive style in terms of what you actually want to output for effects 
but ultimately the deck does control the game quite a bit and one thing I find is that if I realize that I'm losing control of this game early on I sort of already know I lost at the same time if I'm able to establish control quite early on I am able to win so it's sort of what makes this deck very interesting it's very straightforward compared to so many other decks out there I will be profiling other variations of this particular deck but I'll also be profiling other decks as well in the future with different leaders so I do hope you all stay tuned for that but thanks again for joining me today I hope you all have a fantastic day I'll see you all next time